Good day learners. I hope that you are all keeping well. Today we are focusing on section B of the examination paper and we will be focusing on a visual text which is based on a pelican and turtle that are discussing the effect of plastic straws on the ocean. So the pelican first starts in frame one and he says, what's this? It's called a straw. It's a hollow plastic sucking device invented by man. To suck what? Several things. Sucking drinks from a bottle or a glass. Sucking the life out of this planet. And sucking at life in general. Wow, the only parasite that sucks using a device. An evolutionary marvel, marvel. indeed. So basically in this cartoon strip, a pelican and a turtle are talking about the effects of pollution and in specific straws on the environment and on the ocean. And they are saying that mankind is a parasite. And this is a pun because the word that being, is being played on is um, in this last frame, this is actually a pun. The only parasite that sucks using a device. How is this a pun? The word is being played, the word that is being played on is a straw is for sucking things out of a container, and it's also used to make reference to, to suck at life, at both the literal and figurative meaning. If you suck out of something, you will kill it. So if you suck at life, you are really bad at living, and you do not make the best out of life. So this is actually a pun when they refer to uh, mankind as sucking at life. Let's look at the questions. We're looking at question one. How did the item that pelican and turtle are discussing get into the environment? So the straw landed in the sea as pollution. It would have been litter that someone dropped and eventually made its way to the ocean. Question two. Explain turtle, turtle's words in frame six. If we look at frame six, it is this one. To suck the life out of something, means to kill it. Turtle is saying that the straw, that straws is killing the planet or reference to pollution and plastic pollution in damaging or destroying the environment. Ref question three, refer to uh, frame seven. Describe how turtle's expression matches his feelings. So in frame C, uh, seven, we can look at his facial expressions and here we can see that he feels sad or despondent or even angry. And his mouth is draw, draw, drawn down at the edges and his eyes are closed to, to show his sadness. Okay, so that tells us his expression. So here we are looking at his facial, the visual techniques used by the cartoonist to portray the character's feelings and emotions. Let's look at 3.2. Explain the pun in Turtle's words. Now, a pun is a play on words. So if we are looking at this and we are looking at the pun, you would say that the word that is being played on is the word suck. A straw is for sucking things out of a container, but uh, to suck at life has both a literal and figurative meaning. If you suck at life out of something, like a parasite, you will kill it. But if you suck, suck at life, you are really bad at living and you do not make the best out of life. So that is the pun there. If we look at question four, refer to frame eight. Pelican uses derogatory. What is derogatory? Derogatory is harmful words or bad words. Uh, uses a derogatory term to describe man. Identify and explain why it is derogatory. So here the answer that the word that Pelican uses is, he says that man is a parasite. Now a parasite lives off another living thing. This is derogatory because it implies that man is a destructive blood sucker that harmfully affects the environment by only um, consuming and not giving back. Okay, so there is a comparison here being made to, um, between man and he's referred to as a parasite. 4.2, explain the irony Pelican uses in this frame. So 4.2, the human is lying on a chair 
doing nothing except sucking on a straw. If you look here, that's what he is doing. His mouth is sucking like a blood sucker. And he looks lazy and unproductive, just like a parasite. So the irony that uh, Pelican uses in this frame is that he's doing exactly that, what man is, is what he's saying man uh, responsible of, that he is actually doing that. Let's look at question five. In your opinion, do you think this cartoon is effective in creating awareness about the plastic straw? Support your answer with ideas from the visual text. So here you would say uh, yes or no, but most likely you would say yes. I think it is effective. It leaves, me, it leaves the reader with a powerful picture in, my mind, in their mind of a straw sucking the life out of every living thing on the planet. Or you could give your own response as long as you are able to justify what you are saying. So let's go down to the summary quickly. And this is an obituary. An obituary is basically a, um, one of the writing pieces that you will be required to complete as you go further up um, in, in the year or in the years. And uh, this is a summary. And remember when you are doing summaries, it's very important to focus on the key instructions. So uh, if you're looking at this, this is an obituary is, and they tell you what it is, is a notice of a death, especially in a newspaper. It typically, it typically includes a biography of the disease. They are giving you this and they are telling you, summarize the text below in a paragraph form. It is an obituary. Your summary must be between 70 to 80 words. Provide a title for your summary. The title is not included in the word count. Show the word count in brackets at the end of your summary. So here they are not giving you um, any instructions as other summaries would do. So you would just provide a summary of the main points that are in the article. And after having read the summary, you should have something along the lines of, uh, your title could be something like, a death of the last male northern white rhinoceros, a wake up call. And basically you would read this entire text and you would um, summarize key points that you find uh, give the main idea of the story. So some of the things that you could say or how you could summar summarize it would be, the last male northern white rhinoceros died in a Kenyan conservancy on 20 March, 20th March, 2018. Sudan, which is his name, 45, was euthanized because he was suffering. To euthanize means to be killed voluntarily or killed um, because you are suffering of something. So they, the people in charge will kill you because you are suffering and they don't want to prolong your suffering. So they would prefer you dying quicker than suffering for longer. So you're not going to write that. You'd basically say Sudan 45 was euthanized because he was suffering. Uh, the next point could be he once lived in a Republic Zoo, but later returned to Africa. He's remembered for his strength, dignity, and for raising awareness about extinction. His daughter and granddaughter, the last egg producing females, will be artish, uh, artificially inseminated to save this species from extinction. So basically you are providing an overview of him. What was he, what was his age? Why was he, uh, his life significant? Where what, did he stay? What is, his what is he leaving on his legacy, which is his daughters and his granddaughters. So basically that is what you would do. There is no instructions given to you in the summary. So you would basically summarize the main points. Um, in the next lesson, we will be focusing on language structure and conventions. But for now, please stay well and um, be safe during these difficult times. Thank you for listening to the lesson. Take care.